For a long time, people thought that during car crashes, electric car batteries would break and cause harm to the people inside. To disprove this, Mercedes-Benz did a special test with two of their electric cars, the EQA and EQS SUVs. They made the cars crash into each other like in a real accident at 35 miles per hour, with half of the front of each car hitting the other. Inside each car were two pretend people. Mercedes said this kind of crash happens a lot when one car tries to pass and hits another. After looking at all the data from the test, they found out that in this kind of crash, the car's body protects both the people inside and the batteries. And even the batteries were totally fine after the crash, they weren't damaged at all. Airtrex has made a cool new foot scanner called Albert 3D Fit that helps find the right shoes in less than 10 seconds. How does it work? You stand on a special platform and in a few seconds, it makes a 3D model of your foot, figuring out the size with super accuracy, like 0.04 inches precise. Then it connects with online and offline stores to tell you where to buy the shoes that fit you best. What's neat is that it doesn't just consider your foot size, it also considers your style. It saves all this info in the cloud so you can use it later and even change stuff if needed. What could be unusual about a video where a cat chases a laser pointer for 15 seconds? Well, this one was sent from space 19 million miles away. That's about 80 times farther than the distance from Earth to the moon. It's the farthest the laser has ever been sent. The video was uploaded into the computer of the interplanetary probe Psyche. Recently, the DSOC optical communication system beamed it back to Earth using an infrared laser beam. The data transfer took only 101 seconds. The U.S. Border Patrol made a deal with Ghost Robotics to make and send robot dogs to patrol the border between Mexico and the U.S. These robo-dogs can check places that are hard to reach and send live videos and info to human operators. With their mechanical paws, these robots can go over all sorts of surfaces like sand, rocks, mountains, and even man-made things like stairs. It's unclear if these robot dogs will patrol specific spots or the whole border that's more than 1,950 miles long. We don't know how fast these robot dogs can go yet, unlike the Guinness World Record holder, the two-legged robot Cassie, who covered 328 feet in 24.73 seconds. Just so you know, the fastest human runners can cover this distance in less than 10 seconds. But for a new walking robots, this is a big deal and a starting point for new records. The machine, made by Agility Robotics, uses a special computer system that helps it start and finish its movements upright without falling. Rolls-Royce showed off a concept for a tiny nuclear reactor that could power a moon base all year long. Right now, moon missions rely only on solar power. But that's not reliable for long-term missions because moon dust can cover or block the solar panels. Plus, there are nights on the moon that last two weeks. Surprisingly, these simple things can mess up even the best plans. This micro-reactor, though, doesn't care about weather since it works like a nuclear power plant on Earth. Nuclear fuel breaks down, creating heat that spins turbines to produce electricity. They expect this reactor to give about 50 megawatts of power, enough for a medium-sized city. They're planning to start using this reactor in 2030. WeHead from the startup Zero Distance is a cool device for 3D video calls that projects a person's presence into a conference. Well, not the whole person, just their head. 
This gadget has fancy HD display screens with a built-in camera and microphone to show your image and sound. Altogether, it copies the main parts of a conversation, how you speak and turn your head towards someone you're talking to. To make your 3D self at the conference, you connect your smartphone or tablet to WeHead, and then the device copies what you do in real time. The American company Cowwave recently finished a 10-month test of its prototype underwater wave energy generator. The machine showed it works great and can handle storms while being totally independent. They tested it in the open ocean off the coast of San Diego. The platform generator was towed there and anchored underwater using a cable attached to the bottom. Originally, they planned the test for only six months. But halfway through, the scientists decided to extend it to 10 months because the initial results were good. That turned out to be a smart move. The setup worked without any problems 99% of the time without anyone interfering. It also shut off automatically during strong storms to keep itself safe. As for how much electricity it produced during the experiment, the company hasn't shared that info. The new version of the human-like robot Optimus Gen 2 from Tesla is noticeably different from its previous model. It's 22 pounds lighter and 30% faster. The robot's movements now closely resemble human motions, especially its arms, which have 11 degrees of freedom and tactile sensors on all fingers. This combo makes it better at delicately handling things. Plus, it can squat and tilt its head just like a person. Soon, the company plans to use these androids in their factories. The French startup ACWA Robotics has developed an autonomous snake-like robot called Clean Water Pathfinder, designed to inspect water supply systems from within without stopping the water flow. Its main job is to detect leaks and quickly inform repair crews. The robot is equipped with special sensors and high-resolution cameras to assess the extent of pipe damage. It can also add extra systems to measure pipe wall thickness, detect cracks, and identify areas of corrosion, creating a virtual map of underground utilities. The robot moves using mechanical legs with spikes that resemble fins and can inspect system at bends of up to 90 degrees. They plan to release the robot in three versions to inspect pipes ranging from 7.87 to 39.37 inches in diameter. Carnegie Wave Energy plans to install the world's first wave energy collection system expected to reduce greenhouse gas emissions by over 500,000 tons over its operational lifetime. Another unique aspect of this project is that it'll generate electricity not only for the main power grid, but also for a desalination unit that turns salty ocean water into drinkable fresh water. Here's how the system works. A set of submerged buoys convert wave energy into electricity which powers nearby underwater pumps. These high-pressure pumps push water onto the shore through pipelines laid on the seabed. The water then spins a turbine on shore, generating electricity for either the main power grid or the desalination of salty ocean water. Health Tag Spire is a tiny device that tracks your breathing patterns. This tracker can show when you're stressed, tense, calm, or focused, all through a coin-sized sticker attached to your clothing. The Spire tracker is small, user-friendly, and gathers health data, sending it to a mobile app. Plus, when applied, it's discreet and doesn't bother those with sensitive skin. It's a great and incredibly convenient alternative to wristbands and watches like Apple, and it's priced at just $50.
Sometimes all a robot needs for success is just one function. A great example of this is the Gita Mini, a small robot truck that carries your things. The robot consists of two big wheels, a central unit, and a computer vision system it uses to recognize its owner and follow them. Gita Mini can carry up to 20 pounds, traveling 21 miles at a speed of 6 miles per hour. For navigation, the robot uses many cameras and sensors, including radar. Just like a real pet, it can follow you anywhere and be quite helpful. This unique factory is packed with robots. It's not your typical car plant. It's a real micro factory aiming to rethink car manufacturing. Instead of the usual assembly line, Hyundai's new micro factory uses what they call chambers. In these chambers, they set up car components moving from zone to zone. The big difference is that these chambers can be programmed with specific instructions. They start from setting up components for different versions of one car and can switch to working on a completely different model. The production itself looks like a scene from the future. The robot dog from Boston Dynamics is conducting quality checks, other autonomous robots are carefully tightening bolts and installing wipers, while self-guided carriers are moving components and electric cars to different areas of the factory. With this much autonomous equipment, human presence is almost unnecessary. 60% of tasks are handled by the machines. And to produce 30,000 cars a year, only 100 workers are needed. Avair DR is the world's first two-chamber wireless cardiac pacemaker with patented I2I communication technology that's already changing the way we see medicine. The electrode-free Avair DR system is designed to treat abnormal or slow heart rhythms. Unlike regular pacemakers, these electrode-free devices are inserted directly into the heart through a nearly harmless procedure and don't require the use of heart electrodes or a pulse generator under the skin. This means the device reduces people's susceptibility to potential problems related to infections during surgery and ensures a shorter recovery time post-implantation. The pacemaker has already been approved and recommended for treating several chronic conditions, including fainting, pre-fainting conditions, fatigue, and disorientation. Anduril Industries has launched the Interceptor Unmanned System designed to detect and eliminate unmanned aerial vehicles. This system uses Anduril's technology to provide protection for military personnel, assets, and critical infrastructure. The system consists of a standalone observation tower, continuously monitoring the area 24-7. Once an unfriendly object is spotted, its coordinates are sent to the operator's computer, and all it takes is the push of a button. After pressing this button, the Andorra Launchpad will release an interceptor drone that heads toward the target. The interceptor uses kinetic force and flies at full speed to take down the targets, rendering it immobile. The company has already secured a significant contract worth over $1 billion for counter-drone work, with the Special Operations Command. The Danish company Wave Piston has installed its first full-scale modules of their Wave Energy Converter. Their device converts wave motion into electricity and desalinated water. The Wave Piston Wave Energy prototype was assembled in the port of Las Palmas and towed to the testing area at Plokan. The system consists of a chain of Wave Energy collectors stretched between two anchor-mounted buoys. Plates on these collectors move as waves roll through the system, pumping seawater under pressure into a pipe leading to a turbine or reverse osmosis system to generate energy or desalinated water. The current setup is a preliminary one, testing two energy collectors and a full array of 24 energy receivers. 
Even a small, flexible, durable and lightweight design with modular components, which has minimal impact on the marine environment, could provide water and energy for a small town. Google's artificial intelligence Gemini has outperformed all humans and neural networks across 57 fields. The new version of artificial intelligence named Gemini scored 90% in the MMLU test for multitask language understanding, surpassing 87% of all participants. According to Gemini's creators, it can handle any task that humans solve using their brains. The AI is built on a multimodal architecture, so it doesn't simplify all types of information into a common code but perceives them with all their distinct features. It doesn't just understand words and music in a song. It can also assess their beauty, the depth of the creative idea, and the complexity of execution. Gemini works with all kinds of data available to humans. This AI can split itself into parts and delegate different functions. One part creates while the other supervises. You can also work with the modified Gemini Pro right now, though it's in a trimmed down version. Forensic experts can now identify people by their shoe prints. Unlike clothing, shoes hardly change their shape during use. They, however, acquire individual wear patterns. With this data, the police can quickly identify a person in a video where no other identifying features are visible. During identification, there's a scanning process similar to fingerprinting. A person's shoes are placed on a stand and photographed, then the system constructs a 3D model from these images. This model allows for viewing the shoes from any angle and lighting condition. Now, with video footage, the police can create an image from the database and accurately determine if it matches the person thanks to this new method. By the way, the trial run of this new system will start next year. The Bird Buddy Smart Feeder will help you observe the wonderful world of birds. The Bird Buddy Gadget is a smart feeder that takes photos and identifies birds that land on the feeding platform of the device. All the data is sent to the companion app on the user's mobile device. The gadget comes with a removable battery that lasts for 5 to 15 days, depending on how often it is used. Bird Buddy features a 5 megapixel wireless camera with 720p resolution and a 120 degree viewing angle activated by a motion sensor. This gadget will get users interested in ornithology, showing the types of birds in the area, and discovering their habits and personalities. All this wonder costs is just $200. Designers have turned the Lamborghini supercar into an abstraction. The concept of low resolution is about simplifying and refining any physical object to its maximum, compressing it like a file. That's exactly what they did with this fantastic car. The low res body consists of 12 panels made of tinted polycarbonate. It has front and rear lights serving as headlights and even United Nude logos at the front and rear that light up. A 5-kilowatt electric motor powers the rear wheels, while disc brakes are installed on the front wheels. By opening the door with remote control, you'll see fixed seats made of polished metal with ribbed black upholstery. The most interesting part of the interior is the chromed hexagonal steering wheel and polished dashboard with two digital displays. This conceptual car is up for sale, and the current bid stands at $45,000. How do you like these inventions? If you enjoyed them, give us a like and subscribe to the channel. This is just a small part of what we have in store for you, so stay tuned and be updated on the latest technological advancements.